Okay, so now for the guided practice. So, of course, as with all guided practices, we kind of go back to the beginning now. So they want us to identify the lines and segments for this picture, for this circle. So a chord, remember a chord has to start and stop on the edge of the circle. There's only one chord that does that, segment QS. The only one that does it. On the notes, we had two that did it, but this time there's only one. There's not two. So don't try to put two. Secant. So which one goes into the circle and then out the other side? Well, it's a line. It has to be a line. So that's going to be line. QS. This is where your notation is super important. Chord QS and secant QS. Two different things. One's a segment, the other's a line. Make sure your notation is correct. Tangent. It's the line that touches at only one point. It's going to be TS. For the diameter, the segment that goes all the way across the circle, segment QS. And then radii, notice that's plural. So that means there's multiple for radius, multiple answers for which one's the radius. The first one that we haven't used yet is PR. But then we have PQ, and we also have PS. PR, PQ, PS. Okay, there's number one. Number two. Find the length of each radius. Identify the point of tangency and write the equation of the tangent line at that point. Okay, for a circle R. We're going to start in the middle and go to the edge. One, two. So our radius for circle R is equal to two units. Then we do the same for circle S. One, two. It's also two units. We need the point of tangency. So we have our tangent line right here. What point, at what point does it touch the circle? Like it's about that one right there. So the X coordinate for that one is one. The Y coordinate is, let's see. One, two. So one, two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Equation of the tangent line. So now we need the equation. It's a vertical line. So it would be x equals one. X is one. Okie dokie. Number three, JK and JL are tangent to the circle. Find JK. Notice these both start at point J. So that means these are equal. 4X minus one equals 2X plus nine. Move our 2X over. We give us 2x minus 1 equals 9. Add 1. 
2x equals 10 divided by 2. And we get x equals 5. Are we done? No. They want us to find jk. So we have to plug back in. Four. jk is right here. 4 times 5 minus 1. Gives us 19. Now we're done with that one. And last but not least, we have these about the arcs. Okay, so let's fill in what we know and find what we don't know. This red box means this is a 90 degree angle. I know all the way from C to F is 180. So I'm going to do 90 plus 51 to get 141. Subtract that from 180, and we get 39. So this angle is 39 degrees, and so is that angle. Now to get the last one that we don't know yet. We just have from C to F, that's 180. So 180 minus 39, 141. So this one is 141 degrees. Okay, we know all the individual angles. Let's see what they actually ask us for. First, they ask us for DF. How many letters is DF? It's not a trick question. How many letters do you see there? Two. So do we want the long way? Or wait, sorry. Do we want the short way or the long way? There's two letters, so I need the short way. I want to go the short way from D to F. D to F. So 90 plus 39. It's just 129 degrees. There we go. Next one they ask about is arc DEB. How many letters do we see there? We see three. That means we need to go the long way around. I need to go from D to E to B all in one swipe. D, E, B. I'm going all the way around. So I, I have to add up 90 plus 39 plus 141. If I add all of those up, it gets us 270 degrees. There we go. That's four and five. Six and seven, we have a different circle. So one thing we noticed about H to L HL is your diameter. That is our diameter. So this area right here, that's 180. Now I need to figure out what that other fourth piece is. So 72 plus 30. Get you 102. Subtract that from 180, and we get 78 degrees. This one is 78 degrees. Let's see what they ask us for. 
They ask us for JL. That's two leathers, so I need to go the short way around. J to L. Boom. Short way. 78 plus 30. 108 degrees. Now they want us to do the measure of HLK. HLK is three leathers, so I have to go the long way around. H, and then I'm gonna hit up L, and then we're together gonna go to K. So 180 plus 30. Gonna give us 210 degrees. And we're done to gather practice. So you have the rest of the assignment, which is like 11 more questions to work on. But that's the gather practice for today. Remember, you are loved. You are created to do wonderful things. And you are awesome. Always believe.